the last episode, this guy ripped into my chest and took out my still beating heart. And look at this, I should have known. I will admit that feelings are a nice fluffy luxury to have when you can afford it, but they fluctuate too wildly in worth and their return rates often don't match up with their investments. As a businessman, really, you're a duke. What business do you have to do? I prefer to associate with things that are a bit more stable in value. You, a practical mature girl, should know the logic behind my reasoning better than anyone. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Like, really? I should get some rest. I should get some rest so I can soundly kick his behind out of here. Let us go conquer this jerk face. Uh, you're sincere with your efforts, but not with your feelings. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. That's what I said last time. Um, I'm going to find out what's wrong with this guy. Another apology. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go to a different place. Yeah, that's right. I'd love to go with you. Let's do this. For real this time. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have some music going. I don't trust him. Good good thought, Asuka. I should trust her instincts. This is a surprisingly serene place. Why didn't you take me here last time? Because this place doesn't always exist. One day it might be here and the other day it might not. Today just happens to be a lucky day where we manage to catch it before it disappears. This is what happened last time. How very convenient. Mm-hmm. How very convenient indeed. But as much as I enjoy the sound of your voice, I much more eagerly anticipate your answer to my long-standing offer. So what is it to be, my dear? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, agree to give him your heart? I don't think so. Or stab him. Um, vengeance. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that, was that your spleen? Look at her. She's like so cool and chill. That's right, Asuka. He's like not even phased. He's like, well, that was disappointing. Oh, he just smiled. That's creepy. And now everyone wants to kill me. And they're all taking my face. That was not the ending I anticipated. To be perfectly honest with you. Okay then. She woke up. This is my school's infirmary and I'm wearing my regular clothes. Does that mean that I'm back to my own world now? Did you see Akiyami Atsuka's face? It's as pale as a sheet. You don't think she's actually dead, do you? A dude's voice. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The school nurse told us that she just fainted. I think she just said that it was due to exhaustion or something like that. Phew, that's a relief. Still, I wonder why none of her friends have come to visit her. She seems to be the type that would be popular. Why? Because she's pretty? She has like 8 million jobs. I can't deny that she's rather popular with the guys who dig the cool and aloof type. Akiyama doesn't have any friends. Every time when someone tried to invite her to hang out, she always declines. I think she thinks she's too good for us or something. I'm sure she's just shy about her feelings. Ha! Shy with her feelings? You should see how she shot down that second year two months ago. I don't have the time or the money to waste for her exact words. It really irks me how she acts all holier than thou and she can't even afford to pay our tuition. Dude, that was rude. Um, and scholarship, and her grades are failing, they're debating whether to kick her out or not. Um, oh! <gasps> She saw Asuka in a BMW with an older man. She probably sells herself out after class to pay for the extra expenses or something. Ew, is that who Mr. Masuka is or something? Everyone knows that Asuka doesn't have a father and that her mother is an invalid who can't work. The money has to come from somewhere. I'm awake, you know. I don't know, oh my god, I hear all that. Oh, look at their hair, fancy. To be honest, I have... Oh, is that the white rabbit? I don't know, maybe not. Although he has, like, blue streaks in his hair. I don't know. I have heard worse, so don't you two need to pair... Don't you look like a pair of elementary school students caught reading porn? Thank you for taking me here, but if you'll excuse me, I should be going back to class. Fair enough. After school that day. This is pretty artwork. And it doesn't have a fully finished look, but it's very nice. For a free game, you know. I know the conditions are difficult in your house and you need to work, but do try to focus more on your schoolwork. After all, you are second year and it's important for you to start considering university options. You should consider quitting one of your part-time jobs and focus on your studies instead. If your financial situation is really that desperate, I can postpone the tuition due date for you if you so require. Thank you. I will think about it. Don't push yourself too hard, Akiyama. Minamoto. That's Mr. Minamoto. Who is he? He has a phone number and stuff. You know, Asuka, you should just quit your job and become my lover. It'll make things easier, don't you think? I really hope you were joking, Mr. Minamoto. I'm a high school student, not a prostitute. 
I suggest you go two streets down to look for that kind of service. I'm not so sure the ring on your finger <gasps> doesn't approve. Oh my gosh, this is so an allegory. You didn't even bat an eye. It's impossible to rally you up, is it? But I wasn't joking about my offer. If you are uncomfortable with your minor position, I'm willing to wait a few years for you to grow older. I'm also willing to pay you the four years of your university tuition along with any other expenses you may acquire during that time. That should save you a considerable amount of time and energy, shouldn't it? And you don't know my lovely wife as well as I do. As long as her credit card doesn't freeze, she could care less who I was sleeping with. You are a terrible person, Mr. Miyamoto. <laughs> I can't deny that. Still, regardless of how despicable I am, think about my offer. I promise you it will be worth the time. And the money, I guess. Here's my business card. I have written my private number on there. Call when you have made your decision. Trash it. That's right. Rip it up. Rip that nasty card. Go away. As I watched the pieces of Mr. Minamoto's business card fly away to the sky, I would be lying if I said I did not feel a bit of regret. After all, I was throwing throwing the most obvious method of improving my life into the sky. However unconventional Mr. Minamoto may seem, he was literally the prince that had presented himself before me, and I am someone desperately in need of saving. Oh look, they even adjusted the eyelashes. That attention to detail is really nice. But at the same time, like, where's the grammar adjustment? Anyway, but at the same time, by allowing him to save me, I would have also given up my last shred of self-worth and pride, the only valuable thing I possess in my impoverished state. And as devoid of practical value those things may be, Without them, I would just be a pretty doll, empty and hollow with nothing but a pretty face, just like my poor mother. So no matter how lucrative Mr. Minamoto's deal is, no matter how gray and dismal the future may seem, I'll have to push on by myself. For a freedom or happiness dependent on the will of others is not freedom or happiness at all. And I would rather have the real deal through the efforts of my own rather than fall for some pretty illusion. What does that mean? Asuka's eyes changing Asuka? But before that happens, I'll have to be very careful. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's behind me. Why don't he have a monocle in the dream world? He has glasses here, just to make him classier as the duke. He has roses. For Mr. Minamoto is a very persistent man. The death of Cinderella, the duke, is insomnia ending. I feel like that kind of gave me some vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her with the gun here, and he's like, hello, sexy lady. I love Petal Bear. Skip to Dukes. Oh, that's so funny. All right, evil man wears flower print. Gives you 100 roses. Corrupt you with candy. Gives you 100 candies from the start. Why would I need that many? Don't you just need, like, one? Whatever. All right, so we fixed him. I'm going to go get the other guys. Hold on a second. I'm going to go chat some guys up. So here's our next boyfriend. What's your name? I can't tell you my name. He's very dramatic. Uh, he also has a lot of crosses on him. Uh, what are you looking at? The sky. You're indoors. Genius. He has some shelves over here. Uh, he's still ignoring me. What should I ask him? Uh, why are you looking at the sky? Because it is pretty. Good enough reason. It looks like he chained himself up. I want to go there, but I can't. Why not? Because one of my rings is chained so I can't fly. Oh, that's so sad. So you're an angel. Are you an angel? Angel, what's that? Is it something derogatory? No. Uh, why can't you tell me your name? I'm actually, I know I've mentioned this before. I'm playing Tales of Symphonia in, in like, another thing. And um, this guy kind of reminds me of Colette, who's an angel. He doesn't have a name. Perfect. Do you want a name? Nobody talks to me but you anyways. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so we're going to call him White. Oh, you are here. Hello. That was awkward, but hello to you too. What do we say afterwards? This guy is adorable. You keep coming back. Did you lose something here? I am lost. I guess we're in a similar situation then. You are the mistress of this house. Why does everybody keep calling me that? Why wouldn't they? You're supposed to be the owner of this place and therefore the most powerful entity here. It is only proper that they pay you respect. But then again, you don't really give off the feeling of ownership. Because I don't own you, boy. Sleep. 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 Okay, let's go talk to him some more. Our new boyfriend. I'm so proud of him. Uh, this way... 
in this way. Yes. Uh, should I dress you in a more proper way? You never dressed me in the first place. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I think it would be funny if he called me mistress. I don't think it's nice. Do you also want to return back to the sky? No, my home is on the solid ground. Oh, you don't like the ground. Is this, like, somebody sad in my life? This kind of reminds me of the invalid mom, I guess, because she's just like, meh. But I think this is a guy. This is supposed to be somebody else. I always wish I knew how to sing, but I... Oh, that's so cute. Do you know how to sing? Um... I talk about the cafe. Is that the only reason why you want to make music? It makes me sad for some reason. I like clouds. Me too. They are fluffy and comfortable. Reminds me of pillows. Okay. So on my first date with my boyfriend, uh, he showed me Pokemon. And one of them, I forget what its baby name is. I think it's like a Swablu or something. But it's an Altaria. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh my gosh. It's the fluffiest bird ever. And like the baby version, it's like a cloud with a, a head, basically. If you like Google image search it. It's really cute. And um, they're so cute. Like, I can't, I just can't explain to you properly how adorable they are. And, like, I've always wanted one since that day. So if you guys need to know what my spirit Pokemon is, it is the, uh, the Swablu or whatever it is slash Altaria. Oh, it's just so cute. And then it turns into a fairy when it gets all big and fluffy. Um, yeah. And you can wear it as a hat. <laughs> Um, pillows are nice. Uh, why not? Work. I don't know what work is. Okay, you're kind of sassy. I don't know if I like you anymore. How did you wind up here? I was given... What? I was given by the Prince of the Broken Throne to my owner as a gift, but my owner locked me away here and vanished. What are you talking about? It's not like I have any chances to mature, besides since... I'm going back to the sky one day. I don't think being childlike is a bad thing. Have you met the Joker and the Duke? Yes. But rather scary, aren't they? The Duke has quite an unsettling or Aurora. <laughs> Aurora Borealis. While the Joker is friendly enough, it feels if that's not all there is to him. Anyway, I think that I feel much safer with you. I do too. Your face doesn't have much expression. Thank you for noticing. Uh, I could say the same thing. I really noticed it's just how I am naturally. You don't mind, do you? That you have zero personality? No. No, I don't mind. Um, this guy's weird. I don't think I dislike him, but I definitely, like, don't necessarily like him. If that makes sense. Uh, da da, pay, pay, time to pay. Also, just so you guys know, you can hide the first time that they come, but you can't the second time. Just in case you were wondering. Um, let me go up. Let me talk to this guy. He's so cute. You like me. <laughs> he just keeps giving me stuff. He's like, you're alright. I'm like, okay. Let's see. Do they tell me? Stats? No, so they don't keep track of what I did before. No, no, hate you. For years? Am I not, I'm not being annoying, am I? I mean, no. That's a relief to know. If I said I don't really care, I feel like that'd be me. All you do is stare out the window. Do you do anything else? Hey, do you want to make paper airplanes next time? That's so cute! Although I don't know how he can, because he has no arms. I'm gonna make paper airplanes today? Yes, I brought the paper. Good, I was looking forward to today's activity. Oh, I'm so cute. Look at us. Of all the activities we've done, why did you choose to do this? What, do you find this boring? I can think of something else if you want. No, I was just trying to find something to talk about. Are you sure these things can fly? Well, technically glide would be a better term, but if you fold them correctly, they should stay in the air for some time. If yours doesn't fly, you can have mine. See, though, now the people, they said that I was grumpy and didn't hang out with them, but, like, she's really sweet. She's being so nice to this guy. So White and I spent the entire evening crouched in the attic, folding paper airplanes and crashing them into the wall. 
Although the activity itself is unprofitable and childish beyond belief, it still brought an odd sense of nostalgia and peace to me. Similar to watching a black and white movie quietly on a rainy day, maybe I had been too stressed out lately. I need to bond with him more, I think. Uh, I wonder if there's a faster way to get to him. I want to say thank you. Aww. You're welcome. Smile. He smiled at me. He can smile. What's your favorite color? Tell me your favorite color first. I don't have a preference. I don't like bright colors. <laughs> the Joker and the Duke hurts my eyes. That's funny. Lavender. It's color of royalty. Personally, I think it's a rather hard color to wear. Well, all you wear is white. Favorite TV show is Magical Girls to the Rescue. Magical what? <laughs> magical Girls to the Rescue. It's a story about how three girls suddenly receive superpowers from a magical hamburger. <gasps> Sounds delicious. So that they could protect their town from the invasion of the evil hot dogs. I am not familiar with that show. What White said last time is bothering me. How should I ask him about it? How do you know about that show? I watched all three seasons with my owner. It was really touching how magical girl Mika sacrificed herself to a meat patty to save the world of fast food in the end. I think... This person watches Sailor Moon. And that's probably how they got into drawing. So many people I know got into drawing because of Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball Z. Anime. Uh, maybe he's actually a real person? Um, are you an otaku cosplayer? Cosplayer? Uh, oh, it's instinctive that he knew about that show. Doesn't seem to hurt to try and get some answers with him. Don't be offended, wife, but please tell me, what are you? What am I? Never thought about it. I guess it really doesn't matter to me. Um, you're not mad at me for not knowing my own identity, are you? Um, he doesn't need sympathy. Fine. I don't need it either. I feel like you're not enjoying yourself around me anymore. Like, as if I have become a source of annoyance for you. Okay. Weirdo. We're sleeping. We're beautiful and we're sleeping. Let's talk to our blue boy. Man, I hate when he tells me the longer you stay, the harder it is to leave. It, it freaks me out a little bit. Shoot, I need to... Okay. No! I'm so used to just going to his house. I hate you. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm sorry, you're not an annoyance. In fact, you're the first friend I've had in a long time. Unfortunately. Which makes me kind of sad. What do friends usually do together? They talk. I'm doing great with this guy. Uh, we've talked ever since we met. Does that mean we were friends from the beginning? Give me a knife. I like sunflower seeds. It's my favorite food, but I haven't really found any in this place. Um, White chocolate. Ooh, Joker likes it. Okay, fine. Good thing we can't feel hunger. Mm -hmm. Here, take this. Thank you. <gasps> it's a knife. I love how he has a knife. Like, why don't <laughs> you unchain it? Are you okay? No, he's not okay. Just very, very tired. Is that where your home is at? Yes, I see. What are you willing to do in order to go back? Pardon me? Can you even go back? I don't think I'll be ever be able to go back to the sky. Do you think that's because I'm not trying hard enough? Should I try harder? But then it's already known that I can't go back to the sky. Stuck here, stuck here, stuck here, stuck here. Wait, calm down. You're fr oh my gosh, freaking out. Calm down. What are you doing? <laughs> don't look so agitated. Even if I smash against the window with my body and blood, I can't leave this place. Look. I don't know what I'm looking at. What am I looking at? Oh, it just repairs itself. The house won't let me go, and even if I do manage to break out of this house, my wings are chained and I can't even fly. But lately I've been wondering. Maybe it's better to die than to give up altogether. Don't you think it's more appropriate to kill my- Oh my gosh. Did he collapse or am I holding him? 
Is smashing yourself with bits against the window your only method of escape? Are you a freaking idiot? Just because you can't get out, you decide to die like that? If you really want to die so badly, I'd be more than happy to end you myself. Then end me. What? Stop hurting yourself. I promise that I will find a way to get you back to the sky one way or another. Just please, don't do something so dangerous again. Promise you'll get me back to the sky? Yes, I promise. Okay. I won't do that again, then. To be honest, I haven't the faintest clue how to get White back into the sky, or out of the house for that matter, but seeing the innocence in his face shatter into hollowness was too much for me to bear. It was as though I was watching something precious break in front of me and I was powerless to stop it. However, there is one thing I learned from this incident. I am almost willing to kill in order for him to look peaceful again. That's good to know. Alright you guys, since I figure this was for the Duke and this one's for the Joker, this one has got to be for my little white friend. Um, I want more free stuff, although I don't think I need to use it really. As for the white ending, I'm not sure um, what's going to happen with that. Just kind of hoping that things work. The house won't let me go. Uh, all these years? How should I approach it? Do you know where I can find the chains? The keys to unlock the chains. Um, I'm sure you have a better chance of finding it than I do. I just trust you. I'll do my best to live up to your trust. Oh, you already are. How cute is our relationship? If I had, I'd have remembered if I'd met you before. This guy is just precious, 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 precious. Uh, I don't want to live for 30 days here because I feel like that would be bad. I, I always know in these dating sims, it's like 30 days and you're dead. <laughs> so, hey, Asuka, I made this for you. Pretty sure I never made you this many before. You haven't? That's strange. Somehow it came out of my no mouth naturally. It's funny how I know your name, but not my own, isn't it? Oh, you made me a paper plane. I just don't like it when other people touch my hair or feathers, but you can touch both if you want. Well, you said I could. <laughs> she started braiding his hair. That's funny. Um, most people I've met have the urge to do so. It's come bother some for me in the end, but if it's you, then I don't mind, because I'm awesome. Don't worry, it happens all the time. I'm planning to do something stupid. I won't hurt myself anymore. Good because I'll be really mad if you do. I like you. You remind me a lot of my owner and the Prince of the Broken Throne, who I saw I met. Or maybe I have met him and I just don't know. Well, I can no longer make them happy. I can still make you smile. Ask him about the Prince of the Broken Throne. He was a sad little boy. He never liked his position as a prince, but his responsibilities would not let him leave. I was his most prized possession, and I was quite surprised when he decided to give me away. Why are you the saddest little snuffleupagus that I have ever seen in my life? I'm really scared about this, you guys. I'm almost at 30 days, and I still haven't let him go. Let's go about his owner. Uh, my owner was a very pretty little girl. She was a strong person and good friends with the Prince of the Broken Throne. I wonder if the Prince is like my dad or something. I mean, not my dad, but like Asuka's dad. The Prince gave me to my owner so that she may always remember him. It was a miscalculation for that I was bound to vanish into the sky one day and could not always be by her side. Maybe he gave me like a pet. It's that the last time I checked, I'm not a little child. Where is she now? I have not seen her in a very long time. So I feel she is still somewhere around this house. Is she the crazy thing that I stabbed? Even though she has chained me up here and left me alone for such a long time, she still can't bear to be too far away from me. That is so creepy. It's the way that you carry yourself that you remind me of her, and your smile reminds me of her. But now that you mention it, you two do have the same coloring of hair and eyes. So I'm an older version of her. Uh, why would she do such a thing? She doesn't want me to go. Makes sense. Thank you. I was the only friend she ever had besides the Prince of Broken Throne. As urgent as it is for me to return back to the sky, I am willing to wait as long as I need for her to be able to come back to her senses, even if it will eventually cost me my life. 
Can you remember me if you return to the sky? I will, I hope you do the same. Oh shoot, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die because it's almost 30 days. Shoot, I really hope I don't die. Hey, I found- oh, it's bloody. Cool enough, do you think I get better? There's blood on the paper. No, I did not hurt myself. Yes, you got better. Um, someday when I'm no longer by your side, I hope that you'll look at this picture and remember the happy times we had drawing together. Um, wait, how much power do I have over this place? Good question. I know that you are the mistress of this house, but I'm not sure exactly what powers you have, but you should be the most powerful entity here. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna die. It's been a good run, you guys. Hey, I didn't die. Maybe I'm okay. I uh, may be finally able. Uh, can you please leave for a second? But why? You said you trust me, right? So please, just do as I ask. Okay. This better work. As the mistress of this house, I command you to come before me. White's owner. <gasps> what is happening? Okay. After I said those words, I just stood there silently waiting for her to come. But from the clues I'd pieced together from my conversation with White... I already had an idea of who she might be. However, the idea is so illogical that I've been refusing to consider it until now. But when I saw her appear, I was left with no choice but to face the bizarre truth. Is it me? Is it mm, It's younger me. Little Lusuka. I see that I was just as gloomy as a child as I am as a girl. Certainly entertaining isn't enough to talk to myself. Let's get straight to the point. Hand me the keys to White's chain. You're going to be all alone again, you know. Excuse me? You heard me, you're going to be all alone if you let White go. We both know you don't have any friends, and your mother has lost her mind a long time ago. You weren't lying when you said he was your first friend in a long time, and you're just going to let him leave? You are being selfish. And you are being a selfish brat. White is bleeding to go home. I don't... You think he's going to be just fine on his own? Just look at him. Can you really lie and say that he's going to do well in the sky? I am not keeping him in prison, but protecting him. He is going to die if he goes outside. Don't you understand? This is a very typical dramatic, like, preteen. She seems too unstable to talk to. I should. I don't think the usual weapon would work on her. Uh, I don't want to talk it out. Are you kidding me? Stab her with a knife. Oh, sad little Asuka. Haha, <laughs> you win, but what do you have to gain? White is going to be dead and gone. You're just going to be all alone in this house, trapped and suffering. You stupid, stupid little girl. You can come in now, White. Why do you look so calm? Aren't you supposed to be mad or I just injured your precious owner? No, you didn't kill her. She was dead a long time ago. After all, you are now a beautiful and mature young lady, not a frightened little girl desperately clinging to me. But then again, if you wish to, you could decide to become my owner again. You are mistress of this house, and this is your world. The choice is ultimately in your hand. I'm not going to keep him. Like, I might do that as a second options so you guys can see if I have enough time this episode, but I'm going to let White go. Uh, if I do decide to do both, I'll keep him with me first because I think that's the bad ending. But for now, we're going to let White go. Asuka. You're unlocking it. Open the window. She's walking away. I'm sorry for keeping you here for so long, but you're right. It's time for me to let go. Thank you for being with me all this time. I deliberately turned my back towards White because I didn't want to see his expression when we part. Then I felt the touch softer than an angel's feather on my cheek, and a voice spoke gently to me. Thank you, Asuka. And take care. Oh, <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, back in the nurse's office. Paper, medicine. What's going on? Fifteen minutes later in the living room. Oh, I was in my house. La, 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 la. Good morning, mother. Oh, good morning, Elsica. I told you the sleeping pills weren't what? Oh, mom, don't tell me to take sleeping pills. I'm going to take a look at the television. I don't think I'm able to turn it on. It's because it's not supposed to turn on. We don't have enough money to pay for both electricity and water this month. Also, if you keep taking those water-wasting bubble baths, we won't have water either. 
but I need to keep my skin nice and smooth. Your father always told me my skin was gorgeous and beautiful. I have to be in tip-top condition when he comes to pick us up, don't I? He's an influential man, after all. We can't look too shabby neck. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he promised he'll come for us. Yes, but why? Is he not here yet? Is it because I'm no longer beautiful? I have tried so hard to remain people, and can people continue to compliment me on my appearance, so it must not be about my looks, but then what is preventing him from coming from us? Why, Asuka? Why is he not, he not here yet? Don't worry, Mother. Don't you always say that a man needs to devote time to his career? Especially a man of his status? I'm sure he's just busy. Here, take your morning pills. Yes. Yes, that's right. He's just busy preparing a place for us. Silly me, how can I not trust him? He promised me that he would come back for us. And then he can buy you a new pet bird so you won't be so sad anymore. What? I never had a pet bird before. Oh, of course you had one, honey. When you were around 11 or 12, you came home one day with a snow white bird in a fancy cage. It was such a pretty bird, but you won't even let me touch it. It was as if that bird pigeon was the most sacred thing on earth, you even saved up your lunch money just so you could buy a specialized food for it. But three months later, after you brought back the bird, some unreasonable men came. They wanted us to pay the debt. They told us they had everything, take everything in your room. Ooh. The cage was made out of platinum and the bird was a rare breed. I told you to let them have your bird, for their father would let you have a new one. A better one anyway, but you refused. You screamed and charged at the rude men to give the bird back. Being an only child, they paid you no mind. Took the bird away from you. I suppose I underestimated how much you valued this bird, because after the incident, you wouldn't eat or sleep and quickly fell into a high fever. Oh, you loved white. During your sickness, you kept crying, apologizing to someone. But when I asked you about it after you recovered, you only looked at me strangely. The fever must have caused you to forget about the incident altogether. Since the television won't be working, I think I'll need to go get some beauty sleep. Hmm. As hard as it is for me to admit, my mother was right. It was better to let White go. White is object of my childhood, my vet. I wish we could save in this so that I could just like see the other endings. A reminder of a time where I can sit in a shabby room and think about nothing but paper planes and pretty dresses. Lingering fragment of my past where my biggest concern was whether a magical girl TV show would get cancelled. However, in a world where it is difficult to even pay the utility bills, there is no place for white to exist. As I grow older, there is no time for me to sit down and ponder the clouds any longer. Whether I like it or not, I have to grow up and face adult responsibilities. Still, deep inside me, I guess there's a part that wants to close my eyes and remain forever a child. It's probably the reason why I lost all memory of White. By refusing to remember him and pretending that he is still with me, I denied the fact that all my childhood hopes and promises were lost to me forever. Now I guess I'm brave enough to open my mind to the truth. The girl that grew up. White insomnia ending. Not the even human, lol. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can skip it. So that's how I save. Okay. Uh, skip to White's Tracing with Required Items. Rob a Printing Company gives you 100 sheet of paper from the start. Paper planes are cute but useless. Gives you 100 paper planes from the start. That's really cute. Oh, oh, biggie. Oh, little e. Oh, I almost her name is Suka. Okay, I'm sorry. That was adorable. Well, I'm going to find out that last ending then. Okay. Uh, I can talk it out with her, stab her with a knife. Um, I guess I'll try to talk it out. Do you think it's time to let him go? No, she's going to stab me. In the end, you were the one stabbed instead. Go figure. Well, we know better this time. We're going to stab her with a knife. Ow. Rude. Alright, let's keep him. I know I'm being unreasonable and selfish, but I can't bear to see me. So don't go, please. You're never going to grow up, are you? Saying those words, White walked up and embraced me. His act of passive consent unhinged me for a moment, but soon I buried my head into his shoulder. He smelled a mint of spring and of all things clean, so for a period of time we lived happily together. In unspoken unanimity, White did not mention his desire to go back to the sky again. I ceased to talk about this place as detachment from reality, so we were playing an elaborate game of pretend. But in the midst of my surreal happiness, I forgot that all games of pretend will eventually have to end. 
White, come here, I have something interesting to show you. White, are you here? How odd, we didn't never leave. Oh, he killed himself. He tried to leave. The girl who refused to love, grow up. White nightmare ending. That was depressing. So now we'll see the happy ending! <laughs> Alright you guys, have a marvelous evening and thank you for joining me in Reverie, an odd sim date. Which it is, it is odd. I don't feel like I'm dating people in this game, I feel like I'm just getting to know them. So it's not super romantic, which is, you know, fine. It's nice. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye!